many of you are in search of the holy grail for the game of pool? And that is getting in and staying in stroke. Well, if you're on the hunt for that, this video is for you. Hello pool players, Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel and thank you very much for watching everyone. Hey, lately I've got a lot of new subscribers and I wanna thank you guys real quick. Really appreciate you guys taking your time to watch my channel. Okay, now today I wanna to talk about something that's probably the most asked question by maybe an intermediate and a beginner player. And I know that you guys have felt this, I've felt this, all pool players feel this. We, at times, can be in the zone where we just can't miss. We can get position every time. What is going on with that? We're in stroke. Well, how do we get there and how do we maintain that? I'm going to cover a few things today that's going to help us. So without further ado, let me talk about them. Okay, let's get into it. Now, the first thing I want to stress here is that we have to be able to deliver our cue on a straight line. So what I'm doing here is I'm shooting a very basic stop shot. The ball is at the center of the table and I've got my cue ball just at the second diamond straight into the far corner pocket. What I, what I want to see here and what you guys should be looking for is that we have no side rotation on the cue ball. I want to make sure that that uh, cue ball is being struck right in the center and uh, that that's part of being in stroke we want to make sure that we can contact the cue ball accurately uh, and let you guys know these are uh, exercises that I use today so that I could be ready for a gentleman that came over tonight that wanted to play and I wanted to be in stroke so I use these to get myself uh, in play now this next drill or I should say exercise is just a follow shot following it into the corner pocket see there I missed one um, but it uh, requires us to really deliver the cue ball straight into the object ball with a nice straight line so that it once again can follow the shot into the corner pocket this one is a great one if you're if you're able to put several of these in a row you'll know that you're in stroke at that point so those two that I just showed you, the stop shot and this follow uh, shot, are just enough. But I'm going to show you some more here. Uh, the next one you're going to see is actually a uh, draw shot. I set up six balls, and I'll just try to pull that cue ball right back into the corner that I'm hovered over. This was the first six, and I didn't do too well on it. I think it was only one ball I pocketed. Um, back into the pocket there so um, I'll shoot this for quite a while until I'm starting to see some consistency where I'm striking the cue ball in the center I'm striking the object ball so that it's dead center and I'm pulling the cue ball back directly into the corner so these are all drills that are gonna gonna actually help your stroke um, or help you determine what's going on with your stroke I should say so that's the first six, uh, and here's another six that I'm going to shoot. Uh, that was a terrible shot there. I drew that thing way over to the side, mishit the uh, object ball. The next shot, though, I made a good adjustment, really concentrated, focused, and put it right in. I didn't do too well, and i got to admit that I'm not, my draw shot, I mean, I can draw the cue ball, but I'm not real accurate at bringing it back to a location yet. So I have work to do. You know, I'm a, a little bit better than an intermediate player, and um, I, need to, I need to refine this part of my game to, uh, to be able to say that I'm okay at drawing the ball. Uh, but once again, this is a great one for getting ourselves back in stroke, so definitely perform this. Okay, now this is, uh, I know that I'm shooting pretty well at this point, so now I'm going to try to draw this cue ball two rails 
actually and come to the other side. It came up a little bit short there. I'm trying to go two rails and get back to the opposite side of that nine ball. So it's the eight nine drill. See, I'm just coming up a little bit short, so I need to stroke it a little bit more. And there's a lot of wrist action in this shot, I will tell you that. So when you guys set this up and try to shoot this, make sure you have a nice sling in your wrist. It's almost like a slippy type stroke, nice loose grip. And it's a continuation drill. So what we're doing there, we made the shot, we made the nine ball, now we're gonna shoot to the other side of the table, do the same thing. And there, and there is a difference too, you guys. Make sure that you try it on both sides of the table because you'll find right away that one side you're better at than the other. Now, in this case, I left it way up tight, but this is really tough right here. And you'll see I miss it badly. Trying to put that spin at that distance for me is a tough shot. So I shoot it again. That time I almost made it, rattled in the pocket. Now I make a little adjustment here. I don't hit it as hard. I'm trying to go only, only the two rails to the uh, short side of the nine. I guess you'd call it short side, the side that I'm on. And that one was perfect. Once again, it's a continuation. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit some inside spin there. That was a real good stroke there. Got it to the opposite side. And I just played two rails there. And I, I actually got quite a steep angle here. And look at what happens here, you guys. Right into the point of the side pocket. Dead in the water at that point. Okay, now this next exercise is, um, I think Neil Fine actually has this. It might be the one that when they're tight to the rail, but these, these balls are just off the cushion. And I think he calls them the, the yo-yo drill. Um, but I like to, I have trouble with this shot, so I want to set this up so I'm just off the cushion. I need to cut it down in into the corners um, and try to play position. It's once again a continuation drill, so this one's a great one. And this is all I'm really going to do. Um, what I've just shown you, everything you've just seen, if you guys put these things, you know, into your practice, you're going to find out right away by the time you go into a competition, maybe a friend, neighbor, or somebody like that might be over, and you're going to be able to do uh, some wonderful things on the pool table. Um, you're going to have an advantage, I think, over anyone that's going to be visiting your home or if you're at the billiard hall. Just a wonderful, wonderful drill, continuation drill. And I will stress that. Try to, all your drills, try to make them continuation because then that way uh, your cue ball isn't always set up in the exact same spot. You've got to deal with what um, you create yourself and get through it and you'll see here that i'm kind of like from one side to the other and uh but i'm making adjustments and i'm getting myself back in line thanks a lot for watching everyone i hope this was uh, helpful for you guys uh, if you leave some comments i'll answer all your questions and until next time like i always say keep on practicing